Shalom, shalom. I like to start off by giving all praise, glory, honor, and respect to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on the earth to teach today. And salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. It's your brother Isaria, and I just got a, um, a, a quick scripture today. I'm just going to read Matthew 7 and 15. I mean... You you uh, you can read down, but but the point I want to really get to is in fifteen. It says, "Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves." And that's the thing, man. There's a lot of doctrines out here, man. Uh, the is like deal in this. A lot of things that sound good, but you gotta actually actually analyze. Analyze what's being said and, and see if it matches up with the scriptures, man. See if two plus two equal four. Cause hey, just cause somebody give you a breakdown, I mean they do it all the time in church. They can read the scripture and give you a breakdown, and it can sound right, but you actually actually got to go in there and dig for it, dig for the answer, dig and see if that's what the Lord actually talking about. Dig for them precepts, man. Precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Because hey, man. Ultimately, man, you falling after a false prophet is just gonna lead to your destruction, man. And the whole deal is the whole reason why we why why you should be pushing this word is to get saved out this thing, man. To get saved from the, the the destruction that's to come. The sword, the famine, the martial law, the nukes. That should be your whole reason to get saved, man. For that sal the, your whole deal for doing what we do is for salvation, man. But hey. Following after these false prophets, man, is it's not gonna get you there. It said, "Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves." Man, We're going to that word raving, it's a, it basically going to affect a robber, man. So they they in it for their own vain glory, man. They not they not. They they not feeding the flock, man, for real. They not feeding the flock. They 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 lead they leading Israel to go astray, man. And what do the scriptures say about that? This is Jeremiah the twenty third chapter, starting at verse one. It says, "Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, say if you how." So woe, death, destruction to them, man. That's all they got coming. For the simple fact they going off, they 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 leading the flock astray, like the scriptures say. Verse two, it says, therefore thus see if you have power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, see if you have. So the whole deal is this, man. Y'all did y'all evil work. The Lord gonna repay you for your evil. Every man must be recompensed for his work, man, whether it be good or evil. So that's something to think about, man. That's something to think about if if you if you going off, man. If you going up against the, the, the correct doctrine, man, which the which which Great Millstone has, starting with the elder apostles on down, then you going off. I mean if it's in like like I told my grandfather, man, if it's in the scriptures and it's that's the correct breakdown, I deal with it. But it's not if it's not in the scriptures or that's not the correct correct breakdown of the scriptures, I'm not dealing with it, man. Because it's going off. And that's the mindset you should have, man. Only deal was what's was right, man. What's, what's the truth? That's it, man. But with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, honor, and respect doing to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel, set up on the earth to teach today. Salutation to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. To you, brothers, I like to say, Shalom. Bye, bye, bye.